Hi everyone, in this video we'll be solving the first problem of coding bat. Um, this is in Python and it's logic one called cigar party. So the first thing we'll do is let's read over the problem statement. When squirrels get together for a party, they like to have cigars. So let's first, like I always like to highlight the part of the questions that I think are necessary. So a squirrel party is successful when the number of cigars is between 40 and 60 inclusive, right? So it's between 40 and 60 inclusive, unless it's the weekend. So unless it's the weekend in which there is no upper bound. So return true if the party is successful, else return false, okay. So first, what we'll have to do is let's write out the basics of what we see here, right? The first thing we need to do is we just need to talk about, we need to annotate out like what the question is saying. So first, the things that we see are successful. First, there's not successful. And then we have to think about our constraint, or more accurately stated, variables. And then we need to think about what we need to do. Okay, so first we need to define what the problem is asking, right? So what is successful versus not successful? But before that, let's talk about what the variables are. The variables, as we can see here, are cigars and is it the weekend or not? So cigars, let me just type this. Terrible that type. Um, so cigar, and so more accurately stated, number of cigars, abbreviated as just cigars, and is weekend. not which is just abbreviated as this underscore weekend so from here what we can see is that cigars oops. so we can see here that cigars are an integer value so let's write that out And is weekend is a Boolean value. It returns true or false. Sorry for the terrible handwriting. Okay, so it's either an integer or a Boolean. So that's T or F. I'm going to be reading that for true or false. Okay. So now what we see here, right? Now that we've declared our variables, what we can start doing is decoding what it's saying. So let's write a bit of hard code, right? So what it's saying is that in order for it to be successful, we need to make sure one condition is to check whether it's weekend or not. Right? Under this condition, if we assume that condition one is true, then we see here that there is no upper bound on the cigars. Upper bounds means the higher end. So because 40 would be the lower bound and 60 would be the upper bound. We know that there is still an upper bound. So cigars or the number of cigars has to be greater than or equal to 40. Then we can say it's true, else false, right? Then we have to attack condition two, where is weekend is equal equal to false. So under this situation, what we see here is the question states that 
there has to be a squirrel party is successful when the number of cigars is between 60 and 40 inclusive. Because it says inclusive, we know that we have to put an equal sign there. So the first thing we'll do is we'll say cigars has to be greater than or equal to 40 and cigars has to be less than or equal to 60. So then if this is true, then say true, else return false, right? Let me select this really quick. Okay, now that we see this, and now that we know what we're doing, essentially what we can do now is we can start coding. Since we understand the logic of it, let's begin to write the code. So we have our hard code, right? So let's abbreviate condition one as if is weekend equal equal to because equal equal is the checking operand. It checks to see whether it's right or not. We'll write true and semicolon. It starts the if block. Uh, and then we'll say if is weekend is equal equal to true. Then we have another condition to check. It's the number of cigars. Cigars is greater than or equal to 40. We forgot the if statement, right? If cigars is greater than or equal to 40, then return because it's asking to return, right? True. Else. Return. False. Then we have the next statement, which is if is weekend is false. Since we know that there's only two options for is weekend, it's just either true or false, we can just put else, no else statements. So else if cigars is greater than or equal to 40. And because we need to know that it's between 40 and 60 inclusive, cigars is less than equal to 60. Return true. Else, return false. It says there's an indentation issue. I think that's because else should be here. That's weird. Maybe it's this one. Okay. Yeah, it was a simple indentation error. When we do this code, there we go. It says all are correct. So that's how you solve the first question for the logic puzzle in Python 1. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. Thank you so much. Bye.